Hey guys, Nylon here, and welcome back to another episode of my Gontroller PvP series. And as you guys can probably tell right now, I am in my Sky Vault. Uh, I actually just built this with Red Panda 99 a couple minutes ago, and uh, we've already got some stuff in it. And uh, we're also sharing it with X Idol. Uh, they're both members of the faction, Red Panda and X Idol. Uh, and I'm actually recording this after um, I've recorded most of the episode. Uh, so I do have a, some pretty cool clips for this episode. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. I'm probably going to do a voiceover of most of them because uh, for most of them I was in a call with other people. We were doing some PvP, also did some raiding, and it's just a lot of fun all together. So I guess I'll roll those now, and hopefully you guys enjoy. So as you guys can probably tell from here, we are actually trying to raid a base. Uh, it was an obsidian base, and I ended up TNTing in really, really easily because their claims were really horrible. And as you can see, there's not really much in these chests at all. It looks like it had been looted before, or the guy didn't really have anything. Uh, but yeah, he had some stone swords, and that's about it. So that kind of sucked. Uh, but from this clip right here, I actually got TP to a diamond biome, and I'm using my Fortune 3 pick right here. And uh, what a diamond biome is, basically, uh, there are diamond veins with 15 to 20 diamonds in each one. And uh, you guys can probably see that right now. I almost got a, a stack of diamond blocks from that, so that was really awesome. And here we go with a level 30 enchant, got Silk Touch 1. Uh, I don't really use that pick too much just because I only use building picks right now. And uh, here we are at someone's base. I'm actually trying to kill this guy with a regular diamond sword. He doesn't have a sword on him. And I also have uh, Anion with me and Red Panda I think is behind me right now. Uh, we're trying to get this guy. He doesn't have a sword. Uh, but he ends up TPing a few guys in. You guys will see this in a second. Uh, but while we're chasing this guy, I should probably tell you guys about what I have planned for this episode other than these uh, pretty cool clips. Uh, we're actually going to be building part of the grinder and uh, part of the faction base. Uh, basically, what I've been doing is we got a beacon, and you guys will see that in a couple seconds. Now, I'm not going to spoil too much, uh, but basically, we just start building the grinder, and uh, I guess you guys will see from uh, that clip a little bit later on. Uh, but as you can see right there, I just bought a sharpness 5 enchantment on my diamond sword, and we're trying to take this guy down because my diamond sword wasn't doing too much damage. And we actually get him down quite a bit right here. As you can see, he's running away. He's trying to kill me with a pickaxe, but that obviously isn't working out because I think I have protection 4 on or something like that. Uh, and yeah, we just get him in this corner, then he jumps in the water. I thought I had him there. He regenerates a heart, and then Red Panda goes after him, and then this guy comes in. Little did I know, this guy only has one heart, and uh, you guys will find out what happens in a second. He has one heart left. I have some Ender Pearls on me, and uh, I think we end up killing him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't think I'm the one who kills him, but you guys will have to witness that in a sec. I actually punch Annie towards him, and there he goes, punching that guy down. Really awesome stuff. I think he takes him out, and the loot flies everywhere. Uh, but yeah, the other clips are going to roll down now of us building the grinder. So most of you guys are probably wondering where we are right now. Uh, we are actually at the grinder room. Uh, it's going to be a grinder room soon. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't look like it now. We're just digging a 40 by 40 chunk to bedrock. Uh, we're not really that far. We've gone pretty far along. I think we're about halfway there. Uh, but as you guys can see down there, we do have a beacon. I actually got 1,000 GT tokens together, and we were able to afford that beacon in the slash GT prizes. And I just went ahead and bought the beacon like that. Uh, we put that down there. We do have haste 2 on the beacon. And as you guys could probably see from a clip before, uh, we were actually trying to TNT this out, and we realized that that was not going to be the best way to do it. And I guess the most efficient way to do it is probably not using TNT. Um, but we did decide to get the beacon. Uh, me, X Idol, and Dare are actually mining right now. Uh, they are two people in my faction. And we are just tearing this place up with haste 2. As you guys can see right here, it just... It, it, it's really just like you're using Super Breaker. Like if I turn Super Breaker on right now, it's, it's not even really going any faster than just me using Haste 2. That is really, really awesome. We're going to get tons of cobblestone for this. Uh, we're also going to be building walls up to sky limit out of sand, water, um, and cobblestone. Hopefully that will be able to hold everybody off. Uh, we haven't really started claiming it too well yet. Uh, we do have a general radius claim, but we're going to start uh, claiming it pretty nicely soon to come. And as you can see, my uh, Super Breaker wore off there, and it's still, we're still just tearing through this stuff right here. Really, really awesome. We'll probably put the beacon at some sort of regeneration um, when we fin finally finish the grinder room. I think it's probably going to be like a grinder slash uh, chest room for the faction. And uh, hopefully it will all hold up. And uh, yeah, we're going to be digging down to the bottom here. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the basic layout of the... I guess the grinder room and stuff done by this episode. We've also been searching for some spawners. I think I have a total of four uh, 
with a combination of skeleton and zombie spawners. Uh, once we put those in and make some money, we're eventually going to upgrade to creeper spawners and then go from there. We'll probably get some endermen in there and it'll be really, really awesome. We'll be making tons of money from that. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to be trying to get to bedrock and I'll update you guys if we find anything cool. Okay, guys, so we have finally made it all the way down to bedrock. As you guys can see, we've made a ton of progress. And if you are wondering where the beacon is, the beacon's in my ender chest right now. Uh, just so no one comes here and tries to just raid the beacon. Uh, basically, we have all our chests uh, for storage up there that we've been storing all the cobblestone and dirt and whatnot in there. Uh, but as you can see down here, we actually put two layer of, layers of water. Uh, the bottom layer we did with buckets, and then the top layers we did with ice. Uh, and that just basically worked out. We only had to use uh, maybe three or four stacks of ice. So it was pretty uh, easy to get all this water down. Uh, we were thinking about doing water all the way to the top, but that would obviously take a long time. And uh, the reason we were going to do that, we were just going to have our base like suspended in midair under a water, kind of like a submarine. And there is Red Panda right there right now. Uh, he actually just helped us dig down all the way to the bottom. Uh, yeah, it did take a little while, but we finally did it. And we're going to make our way up to the top here. I actually need to do slash home chest because I have a home set up there. And I think that will be a little bit quicker. And I'm just wearing some diamond armor, some iron armor, nothing too special. And I've got my uh, god pickaxe on me right now uh, for mining. But as you guys can see here, this is the chest room uh, where we've been keeping everything so far. This is obviously going to get moved all the way down to the bottom there when we finish the walls. Uh, which we probably won't get to this episode. I really want to get this uh, episode out to you guys. So we're probably not going to build the walls yet because it's probably going to take another day or so to get it up to sky limit. Uh, along with maybe two or three layers of that. That is going to be pretty tough. Uh, but basically we have all the cobblestone and whatnot in here. We can open this chest and I'll show you what's in here. You know, we just got a few things that we got from here. Got some water buckets for using later, and I just placed that in the wrong spot. Let's get that gravel back. Uh, but yeah, someone actually tried to raid this. Uh, it didn't really work out too well, as you can see. They just blew a hole in here, totally missed the chest, and then they probably gave up because they saw all the water around it. And uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty hard raid if you have water along all your chests. And it doesn't look like they knew how to hybrid cannon, so that worked out pretty well for us. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go check what some of the back chests have. Uh, we got like, I think six, no more than six. We got like probably around 10 or 20 double chests of cobblestone. These are just all filled up here, all with cobblestone. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we're going to be able to use that to build the walls. So we're really not wasting too much money on building the walls now that we just have all that cobblestone there. Uh, and since uh, I think my last clip, I've gathered a few more spawners and I have those in my inner chest. Uh, I think I said this before, but Excital and Red Panda have also been gathering some spawners. So we have about probably 10 or 12 altogether. We're probably going to need about 15 total, uh, but we're getting there. We're getting those amount of spawners up. And uh, once we get all the skeleton and zombie spawners, we're eventually going to upgrade to Creeper. Uh, and we've already started on the first wall here. We're probably going to start from the bottom, though. I'm not sure how we're going to do the first, I guess, bottom layer. I think we'll just leave the water in there and then do cobblestone and then we'll have the beacon suspended in midair or something like that. But I think you guys will have to wait for the next episode uh, for that just because this episode is taking a course of like two days straight of recording, trying to get all those clips together. I know this is a bit short, uh, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy. Next episode will probably be a little bit longer and we'll also make a lot of progress because I know this episode we made a ton of progress, a 45 by 40 hole to bedrock guys. That is pretty awesome. Uh, and the PvP will start kicking up once we get our base built. Uh, so if you guys are around uh, this series for the PvP aspect of it, that will start picking up in a little bit. Uh, but I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. And if you did enjoy, remember to hit that like button as it really does help out this series. Uh, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.